Good morning guys and girls, welcome back to my channel and another vlog. I wasn't going to start it right this second, however, somebody is being an absolute hooligan, aren't you? It's bright and early, what day is it, Thursday morning, and I've got a jumping lesson tonight, which I was excited about, until, what is it, about ten past eight? I was in his stable, changing his rug, had, giving him his breakfast, and boom, bolted out the door, past me, galloped straight out here, and proceeded, oh hi Reg, proceeded to behave like this. Freshly clipped yesterday, clearly wants to be out naked, I was going to put a thin rug on him because it's pretty cold, look, you can see there's almost a frosty dew. So I don't know how much I am looking forward to tonight's jumping lesson now because I was not expecting that behaviour this morning. You're happy as Larry. Oh, also, yes, you can see where they are. They are in their winter paddock already, which they should not be. I did not want them in here until after Victor next week because I wanted Banksy looking as trim and as fit as possible. However, we have an issue with that because somehow, insert picture here, Tina, a couple of days ago, I was welcomed with that sight of them just staring at me from over the gate. The gate was completely flat. This has been rotten for a while. A few of you did pick, pick up on the fact that Robbie hadn't fixed it yet. Um, so that's gonna be Saturday's chore. However, it only pushes over to there. So I have no idea how they managed to lift the gate. Well, they, I say they, it has to have been Banksy, not Dinks. But yes, I have no idea how they managed to do it. I mean, I struggled to lift it up and move it out of the way so that they could get through and not injure themselves. But I've actually got no way of barricading this off now. So. They're out here for the morning. They will be back inside, resting their bellies for the afternoon. And then this evening, I am heading to Colrain for a grid work lesson with Fred. So, as I said, Fred! That cat's got only about two of his nine lives left already. He's an absolute little daredevil, aren't you? Reggie, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that fighting you? Come here. Oh, he's just doing some trotting poles a minute. Right, anyway, as you can see, it's bright and early. Tina needs to uh, not be out here in Crocs because I'm currently getting wet feet. Oh, also, a few of you will have noticed the new Toggy Winter Defender Pro. It's now in grey and it's had a few modifications from last year's model. It's my first time wearing it, so I haven't really tried it properly yet, but I just know that a few of you beady-eyed Toggy fans will spot it. Hi, little man. But yeah, I have got wet feet. I did not plan to be out here in Crocs. You don't mind getting wet, do you? You are a strange cat. Look, your legs are absolutely soaking. Look at you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Right, little start to the vlog. Um, best get to work, do my chores at lunchtime, and then go training this evening. It is in an indoor arena, so I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to be able to get. Um, because sometimes cameras don't film very well in an indoor plus. I don't think I have anybody coming with me. Might see if Em can come along. Um, but I might even wear my head cam, but again, not sure how well. Hello. You just climbed on my legs. You just climbed on my legs. Oh, you are soaking, pretty cat. Yeah, not sure how well the footage will come out, but hey, we will try because I would love to get a vlog out of it because I do not remember the last time I did any grid work. And as you can see, I'm sure Banks is going to make it lovely and entertaining for you all as is reg right now doing his laps he is a crazy kitty cat thanks so you must be freezing a freshly nakey woos and it is cold this morning i just know i'm happy as larry as long as i've got grass mum you can let me know you Whee! flying kitten again no i don't feel cold Okie dokie, so we'll come and check you in a few hours time. Shout out to Sam for clipping in for me yesterday. I literally have had not enough hours in the days this week. Oh, Banks, you really are coming in at like, <gasps> Whee! I'm gonna touch your belly then, right? Not getting near you. Yeah. Yep, been an absolutely chaotic, busy week this week. Come on, come in with me, please. Reg, come on, come on. You are like a dog, not a cat. Come on. Good boy. So yeah, thankfully, Sam came to bless her. I was like, can I pay you to clip him, please? Because I just don't have time and he needs clipping before this lesson. Although, the way he's been acting this morning, I half wish I was taking a fluffy, hairy bear like Dinks because 
He is going to be absolutely full of it. Reg, don't lie there. You'll get squished. Come on. Oh, yeah. Evidence of the rug that he managed to get off, which I was halfway through undoing before he bolted out of his stable. Best to pick that up. Let's hope it is not damaged. One strap is still done up. Oh, Banksy Boo. Some things will never change, hey? You would never think. He's 14 now. Anyways, I'm now going to have to go and change my socks and get to work. Actually, I'll probably change my whole attire. Okay, fast forward approximately a lot of hours. Oh my God, my tap room is like a bomb site. I'm not even showing it in there. It is a mess. Um, but yeah, it's about 10 hours later and what I planned to do at lunchtime did not happen at lunchtime, did it, Binks? No, it did not. I will shame you, shamefully show you can't get my words out, his stable. <laughs> that desperately needs attending to. However, it's 10 past six. My lesson is at half past seven and I need to be getting ready. I don't have the truck yet because Rob's at work. The reason I couldn't do anything at lunchtime was because I completely forgot that Winston had a hospital appointment. So I had to take a late lunch to take him to that. Um, but yeah, all needed to be done. Things that aren't, that aren't avoidable, that aren't avoidable. Oh, ah, words. As I said, thankfully Sam, bless her heart, gave Banks a spruce up for me yesterday. We get to attack his mane. That does need sorting before Bicton next week. Now, if you don't know what I mean by Bicton next week, we are going to their three day event, which is our first three day event since August 19. And the only BE three day event I have ever done. I think it's the only BE three day event at 90 that's ever been hosted. It's the first of it. And it's a direct qualifier for badminton. So the top 10% will qualify to go to the grassroots championship in May of next year. Um, obviously that is more than likely every amateur eventer's dream to go and compete on that prestige turf. However, I'm not putting any pressure on I haven't trained as much as I would like to. I feel like I say that all the time. But I am feeling confident in that I'm enjoying competing and doing everything on him again. I hope I'm not tempting fate by saying that. Knowing how fresh he was this morning and knowing that he's freshly clipped and going straight out for a jump lesson this evening. However, he's seeming quite chilled here. Munching on his haylage this evening. Aren't you? Much more chilled than he was this morning. So basically, I just need to get everything loaded up in the trailer, pray Robbo gets home from work on time so that we can hitch the trailer up to the ranger and then get on my merry way. Unfortunately, I don't think Em or Sam are able to come with me. I had had my fingers crossed that somebody might be able to. Uh, so probably not even going to get any footage. So this is gonna be a strange vlog because there's not gonna be any riding footage. There might be, I might be able to give my camera or my phone to somebody that's there, but I don't know. I think it's important that I focus on the lesson. We know we've had these conversations. If you're OGs, you'll know that Fred has told me before when I'm riding banks, I need to get in the zone. Well, even Cameron said it. Oh, swipe up, kick on. Airs again tonight. Not sure when this is going out. So we will have already been on. If you've watched it, thumbs up, let me know, comment below. Um, Cameron also did say that we need to focus. Although we're vloggers and we're vlogging, we do need to focus when it's training time, focus more on what we want to get from our lesson with our horses and our time spent on their backs as opposed to thinking about what the camera's doing and what we're filming for you guys to watch. So there's a fine line between getting it right and yeah not. <laughs> is that there is no right or wrong I guess really but I was thinking about wearing my head cam, my GoPro. It's an indoor school it'll be dark light and also I just think Fred might frown upon me if I do so I think it's important that I just go with the mentality of switching my brain into riding mode, learning mode, and trying to get the best out of me and Banksy. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I might get a little bit of sneaky footage that I can insert in here. And if not, I will just update you when I finish. I 
have good timing, babe? You're a little bit far over, mind. <laughs> He's smiling in there. Oh, didn't do your tummy strap up, Banks. Right, all oh, good. I will not be late. You shall go to the ball, Banksy. Good timing, thank you. Didn't expect you that promptly. Don't want to come with me, do you? <laughs> oh, funny that. I did think. Oh, why is it beep beeping? I didn't think you might say that. No worries, right. Need to get everything loaded. <laughs> Just realised, I probably didn't explain for those of you that don't event yourselves or are new to eventing, I didn't really explain what a three day means. It means that we do each phase, I mean it's quite self explanatory, however, it is a little bit different to a normal one day event because it means that we do roads, no sorry, we do dressage, hopefully on the Friday. Then we do, I say hopefully, they split the dressage between Thursday and Friday, so I'm hoping mine's a Friday. Um, I did request Friday times purely because it means I have to take less time off work. So dressage on the Friday and then you do your cross country before your show jumping. So you do your cross country on the Saturday, but you don't just do cross country. You do what's called roads, tracks and steeplechase. I have shown it in my previous um, riding club national championships vlog, um, but it's just where you literally go out for like a 20, 25 minute hack almost prior to going cross country. So it's a really, really good warm up for the horses, but it's also a test on us as the rider and the horse, I guess, of their fitness, but of our timekeeping. So it's imperative that we know how to use our stopwatch, isn't it? So we get a section A, which is like a trotty hack, or this was is what it was when I did it the past two times at riding club. Um, so you're off, I think, out for like 10, 15 minutes doing a trot trot, maybe a bit of canter, maybe a bit of walk, but a hack within a certain amount of time frame. Then you stop for a minute, not very long at all, um, and you do two laps of steeplechase, which is pretty fast. I think that they set that at like intermediate eventing speed, something like 500 meters a minute. Don't quote me on my times, could be more, I, I need to check. Um, but you do get told all of that in the rider briefing prior to starting competing. Basically, it's just very, very speedy over two laps normally of three jumps per lap, so six steeple chase fences. Then you carry on for another part C, which is parts of the roads and tracks again, which is another long hack, more walking and trotting in this one generally. You, you don't really do much canter, I don't think, because you've got a longer time period allowed, or that's how it was again last time I went to the riding club championships. And then you go and see a vet. The vet then takes the horse's heart rate, make sure they trot them up in front of them. You trot past them as you go into the holding box, basically. Then you get the heart rate done. They say they're sound and good to go. And then you head off to the start box for cross country after about a 10 minute break of just chilling. You can take your tack off, cool the horse down if they've got too hot, then you're good to go. No warm up, you go straight on out. You don't go over any practice cross country fences or anything. The steeplechase has been used as your warm up for cross country. Woo, feel like that like didn't slip off the tongue quite as easily as I expected it to. I should have watched my old vlog. <laughs> it has been a couple of years, like I say, almost two and a half since I last did that. But yeah, I'm super excited. Oh, obviously then on the Sunday you do your show jumping, but your horse does have to pass the final horse inspection on the Sunday morning to show that they're sound and good to go on for the show jumping. So after the tough cross country on the Saturday, you then Sunday trot up early in the morning, get the all clear to go show jumping. And then that is your three days of the event complete once you finish your show jumping round. I will put a link in the description below to the vlog that I'm talking about because I think I explain it a lot clearer in there and you can actually see all three phases of how it happens at the Riding Club Championships. Um, I'm pretty sure it runs in pretty much the same format when we go to Bicton next week, but I probably ought to go and double check because I'm saying this on the presumption and we know what presumption, presumptions, presumptions, assumptions do. Right, I'm going to end up being late. Let's get these back boots on and see ya when we get there. Oh, we've just arrived and I forgot, major, major renovations are going on up here. They're putting in a new surface in their outdoor arena, which hosts dressage competitions and is often the warm up on days that we have arena eventing and stuff going on up in the top arena. Um, I've got plenty of time. I'm nowhere near late. I'm just feeling a bit nervous because as we all know, Teeny does not like doing things on her own and I am flying so 
and somebody said he didn't want to load. I had to get Robbie to load him, which I don't know whether that is because I'm feeling nervous and he picked up on tension from me because he never not loads. He always goes straight in. Um, but yeah, he was like, nah, mum, not going. Turned out he did need a wee first off, but then I think because he got away with it and I was in a flat, he was like, nope, definitely not going in. I'm staying here today. Won't you? You little cheeky monkey. So Robbie had to come out and load him, but you seem all right now. I think you're gonna be a bit fresh with that clip, but you're toasty warm at the minute. I'm gonna sit, go and see what's going on down there and then come back up. I probably actually should have left the ramp up because it's not overly warm. However, he's warmy under his ruggy. He is a hot horse, aren't you, Banksy Boo? Hey. Shut that one. I'll leave you there for 10 minutes. Go and see what kind of exercises Fred has planned for us. It said grid work on the lesson entry thingy. Um, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel nervous. Sam did say she might pop out, she just had loads to do. Do it then. You've got it in your mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want more than one, do you? Mwah. He's big boy for mummy. Oh lordy. Look, I know for a fact it's going to be spooking before we even get down there. Because I've got to come past this before going down. Oh no. Wows, has it got dark quick. Oh, sounds like you're content munching. And Teeny's content because I've just had a text from Sam to say she's on her way, bless her heart. So, quick, get my boots, my hat on, get him out, get him tacked up. And it's our turn to have a play. It looks nice what they're doing. It looks quite straightforward. Touch wood. Let's hope I haven't tempted fake by saying that. Um, yeah, actually, get him ready first because I can pop this on. And then, yeah, on we get. Praise a good boy. one then so funny his knees were literally right up by his ears when I look back at it um, but here Fred's just telling me that I need to keep my hands more still it's almost like I'm lifting him over the fences so he's just telling me like where to position them in order to keep them forward but still oh look he's showing me how much they're moving every time I'm lifting him over the jump so yes that was the advice he was giving me just there and then the more we were doing, the more excited Ball Banks was getting. So every time we went to make the turn, he was thinking, oh, canter. And we're like, no, Banks, you still need to trot into it. So we were working on slowing him down, me keeping my hand still. We were still getting, oh. We put the V-poles there to try and get him to be that little bit more careful. Oh, whee! Uh, which worked. Although here, they're here, oh no, they're not in there. In a minute, they're on the second jump. And then he's like, oh. Oh, what are they doing there? And spooks at them and then chips in an extra stride and it all goes a little bit wrong for a minute. Shut your fingers and that's where the horse is. Don't let him 
runs through the bridle. Good. Keep your fingers shut, Tina. Hands low, leg on. Hands low, leg. Hands low, leg. Hands low, leg. Good girl. Leg on, round the corner. Very good. Put your leg on. Let's make him go the speed you want. Put your legs on. So we then had a little bit of one-on-one -on -one at the end because Banksy really wasn't really paying much attention to what I was asking from him. So I'm just going to leave this raw, mainly for my benefit, to look back on in years to come and to relearn from it. Um, but also it may well help a few of you that have problems with horses that ignore your aids too. <laughs> I don't want you to just jab it, I want you to just pull it until it actually connects and slows the body down. More, more with legs. Hold it, more energy money. Come on, yes, push that tail with you. That one is full, that can be through. Keep that contact where it is, don't just let go. Now put more leg on it. Good, hold it with right hand. Put more leg. Yeah, good. You've got to just know that. You can't have a second, you get 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 a second, Mean it, it's hard, it's not easy. Keep your leg on and slow him down until he's going the speed you want. Don't let your hand move. Don't let your hand move. But every time you, he chucks his head in the air, you take your leg off and you let go with your contact. And he goes, oh, that was fun. <laughs> now shut your fingers and slow him down with your leg. There, good leg, good. Good, now you set the side. Good. Keep the contact, keep the leg. Leg, one, leg. Leg, one, six, leg. Good, come again. Now, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down with your right hand. Slow down, with the leg on, slow down. Put some hands on, slow down. There, keep your leg on. Keep your leg on. Now go down to that three. For God's sake, don't let him out of the truck. <laughs> keep it on. Keep your leg. Keep your leg on. Keep your leg on. Good. Good. Well done. Last time. Back and shot. Change your range. Go. So slow down. That's my brain. Slow up. Good. Leg. Keep your fingers shut. Yeah. Good. Keep your fingers shut. Keep your fingers shut. Leg. Leg. Good. Off. Just because you're not holding on. If you put your leg on, it shoots off. 
you sew them down and then you have to put the leg on again so you can go. Drive with the bridle, okay? Okay, and then manners. That's good, he's just have to be careful, like he's he was moving with the suit and then he attacked. So jump in the way around that. We're both very, very sweaty, aren't we? Oh, he looks tired and grumpy. <laughs> were you made to work very hard? Very, very hard. We both were. I only had this on to do the light to get him in. Thanks for coming. Yay! Sam came and filmed for me. I think we might need to put some beats in it though. Definitely three. Because <laughs> he was being a little bit of a terror. But he did an extra five minutes at the end to get that sting out that tail and to get him picking up and listening and to get me riding properly and working. Yeah, didn't you both work? Didn't we both work? Hence, <laughs> sweaty mess, He's aren't we? So, best get him home, stripped off, washed off, and put in his jammies, hadn't we? Or your dry rug, and then we'll have to put you into your jammies later. Um, I think I'll end the vlog because I will only get home and need to sort my pony out. Thanks for coming. What's he doing? I'm not sure. I don't know if he needed a wee. Oh, well, I had a quick wee before we left, thankfully. Let's chuck him in. Oh, you're going to airdrop me. My camera died halfway through. Thanks for coming, Sam. Filmed on a phone in the end. <laughs> Can I just give you my phone to be fair? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Banks, you're awesome. You're Stay tuned. Boy. No idea what's coming next. <laughs> but it's nearly Vlogmas, so if anybody has got any more ideas for Vlogmas, do let me know in the comment section below. Over and out for now. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. It's very dark. It feels like midnight. Bye. Okay, we're not gone. Sam said the run up to a three day event's coming. I've explained all about what a three day is earlier in this vlog. Oh, good. Which is so, good. And I need to learn about my times. What is the steeple chase at? Is it like 500 meters a minute or something? Oh, you're asking me like that. Yeah, it's going to be it's fast. Like, anyway, this is not filming well. No, it's so dark. It's, it's still, it's classed as your warm up, isn't it? So yeah. it's basically going to be. What's happening? Right, I need my light. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll continue this in the next vlog, which will be before Bicton. Bye! No problems Are you having a post bath massage way. from Regs Banks? Like you, just the way you, are. you do it too cute!